Hi everyone, this is Tracy Duncan with the Duncan Home Group, and we're doing another uh, installation of Small Business Spotlight. Um, we are interviewing Kate Schwint of Kate Schwint Photography. Hi, Kate. Hi. <laughs> um, so we want to support our small businesses, and um, Kate is uh, has some incredible photographer photography. We use her for our event for our great big Duncan annual barbecue. And since then, we've developed a great friendship. So I want to support Kate. And um, do you want to tell us a little bit about your business and what you specialize in? Sure. So I photograph high school seniors and their families. So I put it simply that way um, to let people know that is my focus area. High school seniors, meaning juniors really because they're just getting done high school and they're about to be seniors and that's when we do their photos and then families um, but I also have a studio so I can do um, headshots and fashion photos as well. Awesome now I know the um, COVID-19 has affected everybody and I can imagine with doing portraits and family photos that's affected you quite a bit. What have you done as, um, as a pivot and a switch in this environment? Well, um, one thing I did want to continue to do is reach out to my clients and um, both current and um, past clients. And so for the high school seniors, I've been doing their consultations through Zoom. And I never used Zoom before because I'd either do it over the phone or they come into my studio. So I took everything home and set up everything there in my home office. And it was great. They were able to see the products and prints that we offer. They um, I pulled up my, I shared my screen to give them um, the timeline that we do for our seniors to let them know it's a year round experience. Uh, we have a style guide we share with them. We have a location um, uh, presentation that we show them so they can pick the location that they want because it's all customized. Right. And they really have had a very positive feedback from my clients. They said that they really liked it um, and they didn't feel like they missed anything not being able to do it in person. So that was a huge blessing. So. Well, fantastic. Um, and I know we had talked about uh, a special project that you have in mind for when the um, stay at home gets lifted, I think May 8th. Yes. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that project? Absolutely. So I have... Um, I have a love for very creative photography and I, you know, I have to do what my clients want. So I, um, being stuck in the house, started photographing my grandkids and um, really quick, can you still see me or do you see my screen? Um, no. I think at the bottom there's a place to share screen. Okay, hold on one second here. Um, Sorry, I just like realized I wanted to put this one photo in there for you guys to see. Oh, no worries. We'd love to see the examples. Yeah, so the start of what I was doing with my grandbaby, just to give you an idea of how I came up with the idea. Well, first and foremost, I actually have, um, it's called Through the Window, and I'll share my screen. Okay. So we're going to go here. And it started with this portrait of my grandson that I did. I got him to uh, go stand, which he loved, because we're always telling him he can't stand on the, at the end table. So he stood on our end table next to the window. <laughs> so you see him smiling, looking through me, but it's also the reflection in the window. So that's why I call it through the window. I was like, well, how can I help my clients with making them feel safe when we get back to being able to do photos? So we did that of him. Then I got a little creative and went inside and I, you know, I wouldn't be able to do this with other clients, but that's one of my favorite photos I've taken of my grandkids um, during this time. I think it'll be a great way to capture um, this time where we're locked in <laughs> together. So, um, but here's another one, um, a good friend of mine inside her house um, looking out through the window, um, and again, we have the reflection of the background there. Um, this is my friend's little boy. Again, I'm outside, and he can hear me. That's his little brother. They were, you know, the little brother was not excited to have his photo taken. Um, <laughs> this is a, a neighbor of mine. Um, her little girl is incredibly excited to have some photos taken, and this is her older daughter. 
And as you can see, we, I have to get myself in a position so I see the people, but I'm also getting some really neat work with the background. Oh, um, that's beautiful. That was probably one of my favorites. This is our next door neighbor. Her name's Lauren. And I liked her having her hand on there because it's kind of like, hey, I'm stuck in here. <laughs> <laughs> but again, it was, it's just, uh, it's super great because I have to move all over to find a good spot where I see their face, but I'm also getting that reflection in there. Um, and how it started was when I, um, the night before shelter in place took um, place, this young girl right here, she's a foreign exchange student and she had signed up for my dream team, which are a bunch of girls in the community that represent my photography business. It's called the KSP dream team and they get a whole bunch of photo sessions and she was only going to be able to be on the team until July, but they had to send her home. So the oh. night shelter in place. I like ran over to the house and through the window, we took some photos of her and her sister, her American sister. And um, those were the first two that I did. And I was just really excited about that. So just hoping to offer this to my clients, new clients, current clients, um, and capture this really amazing and challenging time. So I really like the look. There's a dreamy quality to it. And I think that's, that's very unique and very special. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to unshare my screen here. Okay. Oh, stop share. There we go. Perfect. Well, perfect. Thank so you. we will get this um, posted and I uh, just want to let everybody know Kate Schwint photography.com and I'll put a link in, um, in the notes. It's actually photo.com. Photo. Okay, perfect. I will put a link to your website in the notes. And um, if anybody has a company, a business, a restaurant, or some small business that they would like to have a spotlight, please let me know. Tracy and Duncan Home Group. So um, thank you, Kate. I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. All right. You too, honey.